In a world where routine often masks the unexpected, the tale of Singapore Airlines Flight 319 stands as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of life. It's a story of determination, quick thinking, and the triumph of human resilience over adversity. On a seemingly ordinary day, Flight 319, a sleek silver bird of the skies, took off from Singapore's Changi Airport. Destination, the vibrant city of Sydney. The passengers on board, a diverse mix of business travellers, families and adventure seekers, had no inkling of the dramatic turn their journey was about to take. The flight began as any other, the plane cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet, soaring over the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean. But as the hours ticked by, a routine check by the flight crew revealed a chilling discovery. An engine had failed. The murmurs of concern amongst the crew echoed the growing sense of unease that was slowly creeping into the aircraft's atmosphere. As Flight 319 continued its journey, the hum of the engines was abruptly interrupted by an unusual sound. The pilots, trained to respond to any variation in the aircraft's rhythm, immediately noticed the change. A quick review of the instruments confirmed their worst fears. One of the engines had malfunctioned. The cockpit was a flurry of activity. Co-pilot Anderson, a young man known for his sharp wit and quick reflexes, began running through the emergency checklist, his fingers flying over the numerous controls and switches. His face was a mask of concentration, his every action precise and methodical. On the other side of the cockpit, Captain Smith, with the calmness only years of experience can bring, was attempting to stabilize the aircraft, his hands steady on the controls despite the dire situation. The tension in the cockpit was palpable, a silent testament to the gravity of the situation. Meanwhile, the passengers, oblivious to the unfolding crisis, continued their journey. The children played, their laughter filling the cabin, while the adults engaged in conversation, read books, or watched movies, all unaware of the crew's frantic efforts up front. However, the sudden dip in altitude and the ensuing silence of the engine soon sent a wave of unease through the cabin. Whispers of concern began to fill the air, the passengers looking to each other for reassurance, their eyes reflecting the growing fear and confusion. The captain, a seasoned veteran with over two decades of flying experience, immediately initiated emergency protocols. The co-pilot intently relayed their situation to air traffic control, while the flight attendants calmly prepared the passengers for a potential emergency landing. With the emergency protocols in place, the captain and co-pilot worked in sync, their years of training kicking in. The captain maintained a steady hand on the controls, fighting the aircraft's malfunction. Meanwhile, the co-pilot, his voice steady yet laced with a hint of urgency, communicated with the air traffic control, providing constant updates about their altitude, speed and condition of the aircraft. In the cabin, the flight attendants, trained for such emergencies, began their task. With a calm and composed demeanor, they reassured the passengers, instructing them to fasten their seatbelts, assume brace positions, and guiding them on how to use oxygen masks. The passengers, caught in a whirlwind of fear and uncertainty, reacted differently. Some prayed quietly, others held on to their loved ones, while a few tried to capture the unfolding drama on their phones. Amid the chaos, a sense of unity emerged. A collective hope to survive this ordeal hung heavy in the air. As the crippled aircraft descended, the captain made the crucial decision to divert to Jakarta, the capital of neighboring Indonesia. The decision was fraught with risks. Jakarta's Sukarno Hatta Airport, while equipped to handle a plane of Flight 319 size, was notorious for its unpredictable weather conditions. As the video continues, we delve deeper into the captain's decision to divert to Jakarta. It was a calculated risk, the voiceover explains, but one that had to be taken given the circumstances. We get a closer look at the cockpit, where the captain and his crew are working tirelessly, their faces taut with concentration. The camera pans over the myriad of controls, dials and screens, as the voiceover details the complex calculations and considerations that went into this crucial decision. Cutting to the cabin, we see the reactions of the passengers. Some are praying fervently, their faces etched with fear. Others are comforting their loved ones, holding on to them as if their lives depended on it. A few are remarkably calm, their faces reflecting a quiet strength and trust in the crew. Everyone knew the stakes, 
the voiceover continues. But they also knew that they were in capable hands. Their lives were in the balance and all they could do now was hope for the best. Flight 319 began its approach, the crew and passengers bracing themselves for the landing. The tension inside the cabin was palpable, but guided by the steady hands of the captain and his crew, the aircraft touched down safely. The collective sigh of relief was drowned by the thunderous applause from the relieved passengers. As the wheels of Flight 319 kissed the ground, the cabin was filled with an eerie silence, a stark contrast to the roaring engines that had filled their ears just moments before. The landing gear groaned under the strain, but held firm. The flight crew, their faces etched with exhaustion and relief, shared a moment of quiet celebration in the cockpit. The voiceover begins, the plane shuddered, a physical manifestation of the collective exhale of every person on board. For a moment, it was as if time stood still. The pilot's voice crackled over the intercom. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jakarta. The words hung in the air, a simple statement that held so much more meaning to all on board. It wasn't just a welcome to a city, but a welcome back to safety, to life. The scene shifts to the cabin, where passengers are seen hugging, some crying, others laughing in disbelief. A sense of camaraderie, born out of shared fear and relief, fills the air. The flight attendants, ever the professionals, move down the aisle, their smiles a beacon of comfort in the aftermath of the ordeal. The voiceover continues. In the face of adversity there was unity, strangers became a family, a testament to the human spirit's resilience. Each passenger carried their own story of survival, forever bound by the experience. The gamble of Jakarta had paid off, the crew's expertise and quick thinking had turned a potential disaster into a triumph of human resilience. The incident of Flight 319 is a testament to the unwavering dedication of the flight crew, their quick thinking and their ability to maintain calm under pressure. It's a story that underscores the importance of training, experience and the human spirit's ability to rise above adversity. The successful landing of Flight 319 resulted in no injuries, a feat attributed to the incredible teamwork of the flight crew. The incident led to an extensive investigation into the cause of the engine failure and resulted in significant safety enhancements in aviation practices. As the dust settled on the tarmac of Jakarta, the enormity of what had just occurred began to sink in for the passengers and crew of Flight 319. The deafening silence that followed the landing was broken by the relieved sighs and quiet sobs of passengers, their hearts pounding in their chests. The crew, their faces pale but resolute, began to orchestrate the disembarkation, their professionalism never wavering. In the cockpit, the pilots, their hands still trembling from the adrenaline, exchanged a look of relief and gratitude. Their training had paid off, they had brought their passengers home safely. Amid the chaos, they managed a weary smile, their eyes reflecting the pride and humility of their achievement. Outside, the ground crew swarmed the aircraft, their faces a mix of awe and respect. They had heard of what had transpired mid-air, and now they were seeing the proof of that incredible feat. As they looked at the damaged engine, they could only imagine the terror that must have gripped those on board. Meanwhile, the passengers disembarked, their faces mirroring a gamut of emotions. Relief, exhaustion and gratitude. Some clung to their loved ones, others silently thanked the heavens, while a few managed to crack a smile, their ordeal finally over. In the ensuing chaos and relief, one thing was clear. The incident of Flight 319 had brought out the best in humanity, courage, resilience and an unyielding spirit. It was a scene that would forever be etched in the minds of those who lived it, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. The tale of Singapore Airlines Flight 319 is not merely an account of an aviation incident. It is a story of courage and resilience, a story that reminds us that in the face of uncertainty, humanity's indomitable spirit can and will prevail. It's a tale that will continue to echo in the annals of aviation history, a stark reminder that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit soars higher than any aircraft ever could. As the echoes of Singapore Airlines Flight 319's tale of courage and resilience reverberate, we delve deeper into the details of this extraordinary journey. The collective bravery of the crew and passengers was the invisible force that kept the plane afloat, even as the engines faltered. 
we hear the voice of Captain Lee, recalling the moment when the decision to divert to Jakarta was made. His voice is steady, betraying none of the fear that must have gnawed at him. I knew the risks, but I also knew I had 300 lives depending on me. We were in this together, and I wasn't going to let them down. We cut to the passengers, their faces etched with tension, but also with an undeniable sense of unity. They share their stories, their fears, and their hopes. A woman clutching a photograph of her children speaks. I was scared, terrified, but I also knew that we had a captain who was determined to get us home safely. That gave me hope. The crew, too, were heroes in their own right. The flight attendants, under the most stressful conditions, maintained their professionalism, their calmness, and their determination. They were the comforting voice amidst the turbulence, the reassurance in the face of uncertainty. As we listen to their stories, we realize that the tale of Singapore Airlines Flight 319 is not just about a malfunctioning aircraft. It is about the courage and resilience of every individual on board, their collective strength and their shared determination to survive. It is a testament to the indomitable human spirit, soaring high above adversity, echoing forever in the skies.